Do you own a home or are you thinking about buying a home in the Yorktown Central School District? Then this video is for you. We're taking a look at the numbers of this past November compared to the numbers last year and what that might mean heading into January 2023. Stay tuned. I'm Jeffrey Green, team lead at the Hayde Green team here at Compass, and I'm your local market expert for the Yorktown Central School District. So guys, I wanna take a look at some numbers. We're gonna look how November bid compared to November last year, and also look at some numbers compared to 2019, because we wanna be aware if we're heading more into a trending market that's similar to pre-COVID, right? So there are some numbers that are showing some changes in the market, not necessarily changes in pricing. So here we go. So new listings last month, we saw 13. That's down a little bit from the year prior. Not a big change really from 16 down to 13. Uh, November 2019, there was only six new listings. So still pretty strong listings, but again, such a small area, hard. That's not really a metric that's too easy for us to follow. Now, active listings, and this is something I want you guys to keep attention on as we're heading into the new year, if this starts creeping up. So we have 29 active listings, that's up 32%. There were 22 active listings last year, 2021 this time. But just for some reference, the difference between November 2022 and November 2019, there were 73 active listings at the end of the month compared to 29. So again, we're still seeing less than 50% of the inventory and that is holding the market together along with not many new listings coming up. Days on market average basically means from the day you put your house on the market to the day it goes into contract. And we did see a pretty significant increase. And this is one of the higher numbers we're seeing in the local school districts that we track. So 52 days on market, under 60 days, still means we're in a seller's market. So for you buyers out there, on average, sellers still seem to have a little bit of leverage. And these are for homes that are selling, right? Homes that actually closed in November. Um, so not necessarily the homes on the that are still active sitting on the market for the homes that closed. And not too, too different than 2019. So I think this is showing we're kind of coming closer to those 2019 Mm, climate, you know, the environment that we were in between homeowners and sellers, at least when it came to negotiating on terms and how long things sat on the market, not necessarily on price, obviously. And sales numbers, we only saw 11 homes close. Um, again, it's a little bit old data. That would have been from two, three months prior to November, but still not a ton of closings. Uh, we saw 18 closings in 2021. We actually saw 23 closings in 2019, November. But keep in mind, guys, we're way down on inventory. So I don't think it's that much of a sign that we haven't had that many closings. We don't have that many homes to sell, right? So there's this next one, sale price average um, was 657,000 on average. Some homes sold for more, some homes sold for less. That is up significantly from 2021. And that is also up a pretty good amount from 2019. So I do think Yorktown Heights now has a new normal. If your house was worth X in 2019, it's probably worth about a hundred grand more. Uh, and that will vary with depending what price point price segment you are in the market. And then lastly, close price to original original price ratio. So if you put your house on the market for $1,000 and you got $1,100, you would have sold for, um, sorry, $1,010, you would have sold for 101% of your original asking price. Or let's put it another way. If you put your house on the market for $100 and you sold for $105, Dollars, then you got 105% of your original asking price. And this number is interesting. Um, we, we're seeing 97.8% for last month. So of all the homes that closed out, he's handed over, um, they were negotiated down from the original list price. And I do think that's a product of a lot of homeowners overpricing their house, heading out of the time period when we still had low low interest rates. So um, that's lower than it was, significantly lower than it was in 2021, and that's actually lower than it was in 2019. So I do think that is a sign that sellers, the sellers that are selling are having to negotiate. 
So for you buyers out there, you might want to consider looking at homes that are slightly over budget because you'll probably be able to negotiate them down if they haven't sat on the market for that. If they've, if they've sat on the market for a little while. Now. So that is it for uh, this month's review of the numbers in Yorktown Heights. Uh, soon we're going to be bringing you guys the yearly data, which is super exciting. We'll see how the year trends it out compared to the year prior. And hopefully if you guys need anything for 2023, any help pricing your house, any help doing some strategies for buyers, uh, we are here to help. My direct line is 914-350-6091. These are hyper-local reports only going to homeowners and home buyers in Yorktown Heights. So I hope you guys get some value out of this. We're here if you need us. Have a great holiday.